Welcome to the wastewater treatment plant of Saint-Omer, where CAPSO, the Communauté d'Agglomération du Pays de Saint-Omer, realizes a pilot within the Nereus project. As a part of the Nereus demo, new equipment has been installed to improve the quality of the sludge that is left after treating wastewater. But where exactly does this sludge come from? We retrieve it during the wastewater treatment process. The sewage water of the people of Saint-Omer is pumped to the wastewater treatment plant managed by Veolia. The first step of the treatment removes larger particles, such as sand, which settle to the bottom. After this screening, the oils and grease are carefully skimmed. Then the water is pumped to another tank, where it is treated both anaerobically in the center and aerobically in the outer ring. Next, it is transferred to a final tank, here the remaining purified sludge sinks to the bottom, leaving clean water in the basin. This purified water is now ready to be discharged into the canal, where it can be eventually pumped up again for a new purpose. Now it's time to further process the sludge itself. First, polymers are added to make the sludge particles adhere to each other better. It is important that the sludge sticks together well, because afterwards, we put it through a centrifuge, spinning at a high speed. This step dehydrates the sludge by draining the water. To further enhance the composition and dryness of the sludge, we have experimented with adding lime in this Nereus demo. Lime is white calcium hydroxide powder. We replace the feeder pump and its discharge by a lime mixer and three conveyor screws. We also tested for the optimal type and dosage of the lime. Adding the right quantity of lime dehydrates the sludge by increasing the dry matter, which improves the composition and structure. The sludge needs to be dry enough to store big masses in good conditions. To meet these requirements, it has to stay densely stacked in a pile as high as at least one and a half meters. Adding the lime has a lot of advantages. It stabilizes and sanitizes the sludge to control odors and increases the agronomic value. Lime sludge improves soil structure as well as its pH levels and has positive effects on infiltration, drainage and water holding capacity. Thanks to the lime optimization, the dryness of the sludge has increased from 26% to 32%. By tweaking the recipe, we have also obtained a higher stack holding capacity of 5 meters. This dried sludge is now in perfect condition to be used as fertilizer to sustainably grow crops. This is particularly important as the region of Saint-Omer is known to be the vegetable garden for the wider area. The sludge is rich enough in nutrients to replace chemical store-bought fertilizers and is 100% free of charge for the local farmers. Veolia is happy to take up a social responsibility by contributing to healthier soil and sustainable locally grown food. The farmer lets Veolia know which field he would like to spread the sludge on. Then they continue to analyze the particular composition of the soil to determine what concentration of lime is best suited for the field. Once the tailored sludge mix has been made, Veolia transports the fertilizer on site. It is now completely ready to be spread out on the field. As a result of the Nereus demo project, the Santomer WWTP can now dry its sludge according to regulations and therefore put it to better use. Today, the sludge is used by almost 15 local farmers. Citizens, researchers and farmers are locally closing the loop together to repurpose valuable nutrients to grow more sustainable food.